Hello everybody! Today we are going to talk about how to manually install, compile and watch for changes inside our Compass files. Because you know, you might not want to use the NetBeans, however I really recommend this ID. It's really cool and it's free, right? Because well, now it will not be so nice to use. Of course you need to what? You need to install the Compass using command like that. Of course, you need to also install the Ruby, but I assume that you have got it installed already. So, we are waiting a second, bam, and the compass is installed properly. Now, what to do from that place? You need to now create a compass project or, well, sometimes you might have already uh, a compass, uh, well, a project with many files, right? So, how to create inside it a, a compass project how to insert it inside right so well i created a folder on disk c so we'll go to with the change directory command here and i called it a test as you can see it's here if you had here a big path you could just copy this Control plus c and you could do something like cd and then we will paste it here, enter, and you will change it to that place. Okay, so you don't need to like do something like that and go folder by folder. So when you are inside the place where you want to put the compass, you can type something like compass create. And because of it, we created what? We created a folder where we have scss files and folder we have css files. And also we have got a configuration file, which is very important. So we edit it with Notepad++. Well, we, we can use another editor. And as you can see here, you have got where things like CSS is put, where SAS is put, and where images and other things like that are put. We'll talk about other options about configuration file later. But well, the most important part for us is right now this thing. If you one, uh, if you have right now folder which is called differently, for example, as CSS, you have to change it here. And well, it should be also called it the, the same here, right? <laughs> okay, so uh, when you have got it installed like that, everything is gonna work. Let's check it out. Let's go, for example, to the SAS files. Let's go to the print and let's open it with Note++. Plus plus plus. Let's open it here like that. And for example, I will type here something like let's go into paragraph and then font size 15 pixels. And let's look here. As you can see, nothing has changed. Why? Because, well, the truth is that the compass is a Ruby program and you need to run this program somehow, right? So uh, the truth is that the most important thing for the compass is right now this, this config file. You could just copy this config file and it should work, right? And now, in order to run it, what do you need to do? You need to type something like compile, uh, compass, compile, enter. And as you can see here, it says that write to style sheets print CSS. It means, as you can see now, it is asking us for reloading because something changed, modified the, uh, the file by another program. It was the Compass program. I refresh it and as you can see, I have got this font size here. Okay, let's use the Compass, something from Compass. So I will include border radius 15 pixels okay like that uh, and of course it will not compile properly why because well it is undefined the border radius here and we have got more error here why because we didn't import compass remember about it so now when we compile it bam we have got here the result so everything works fine you need to remember that you need to be in that folder, exactly in that folder where you have got the config, right? Okay, so you might be now wondering, oh, so I have to, every time when I ch change something, do something like that, 
No, you don't need to. You can do also something like compass watch, which as you can see now is watching for changes. So when I change anything here, so for example, here to 10 pixels, as you can see, it says here modified SAS prints SCSS, so this file, and let's write to this file. And as you can see, it's asking for reloading this file again, and 10 pixels is here. So now I can just minimize this thing and I can do whatever I want. The problem about this solution is that, well, <laughs> You need to every time type this compass watch, right? When you want to do something using compass, which is not so cool. I really prefer using an IDE because, well, then you do not lose your precious time. Okay, so in order to stop watching, I use the Ctrl plus C shortcut and it's asking us if you want to end it. I'm typing T, probably in your system it will be a Y because, well. <coughs> You have got the English system or maybe any other language. So we have got now uh, exited the compass watching machine and it's not working anymore when we change something, right? But that's how you do it manually. Okay, that's all in that lesson. Thank you very much.